Hey guys, what's up? It's Dusty here, back with another crypto video, and hopefully I can make this a short 10 minute little update. The San Francisco based Ripple recently shared a detailed blog post on why they should think clear regulation matter for crypto and blockchain industry. But before we get into this little small update, make sure you go ahead and press the like button on this video right now because it does tremendously help. But also, you're entering yourself into a giveaway of $200 worth of XRP. All that you need to do to enter is, as I said, press the like button, go ahead and also comment something down below to make sure I can pick you, and make sure you are subscribed for more giveaways and to enter. All we need is to hit 400 likes within 24 hours, and that's basically it. You've won something, possibly, it's pretty simple like that. So again, um, there has been a new blog post out. The firm appreciates the regulatory move of the UK's FCA, which they think as the role model for other countries in terms of digital asset regulation. Clear regulation is a must for blockchain and digital assets to flourish. In a blog post updated on September 26th, Ripple compares clear regulations for the crypto industry with the rules for the basketball game. It says, you can play a game of pick up basketball without ever having met the players before or even being able to speak their language because the key definitions and core rules of the game are clear and consistent. This is a very powerful statement that is definitely true and if you've ever played basketball outside with other people, you kind of know that this does work out. I mean, you can just go outside if there's a court anywhere close to you or anywhere that you've ever been. You will just see a couple people playing. You're just going to be standing there like, eh, you know, you don't even have to say anything and somebody might throw a ball at you. And you could just play ball, sort of. You don't even know what kind of game you, you're going to play. You're just going to play something. But it does work. You know, you're playing basketball. Everybody might have a fun time and it is all because the key definitions and core cool rules of the game are clear to everybody and do not change ever really so everybody knows i mean the same can be said about football you know just um the the football the the european one like the soccer i guess with that being said ripple mentioned such a clear understanding of crypto space is currently missing the article further states that the clear and consistent language and regulatory approach is crucial for blockchain and digital assets to flourish without clear and consistent frameworks for this new technology Many financial players and companies will continue to rely on outdated laws and rules. And if you guys saw my previous video, in that one I explained <clears throat> what I think is one of the biggest things that XRP and Ripple are missing. You know, one of the key uh, key parts of this whole operation, this whole movement of cryptocurrency that is still missing, and that is a really good regulatory framework. Why I'm saying that is because many of the companies are saying now, we can't work with Ripple, we can't work with XRP specifically then. Uh, you know, we, we can't do this yet, we're not going to do this, we're not interested in XRP, this, that, this, that. And it's, I think, mostly because they're not that sure about what's going to happen with that cryptocurrency. They don't know how their company is going to be changing because of it. They don't know what kind of image or kind of idea people have about their company when they are associated with cryptocurrency that is sometimes called risky or, you know, illegal, things like that. I think a lot of companies are disassociating them with cryptocurrency just because of the name it has. If there was a good regulatory framework and it was more so accepted like normal or you know just another currency in, in that sense, I think a lot more companies could be hopping on the bandwagon. And again, that could mean a lot more adoption for our XRP. Ripple official criticizes Facebook's as Libra, says it's a walled garden. So that's a pretty interesting statement to make, is it not? <laughs> oh, whoa. Besides global regulators, policymakers, and central banks, Libra has recently caught under the controversial comment by Ripple Senior Vice President of Customer Success, Marcus, a.k.a. Treacher. No, wait, Marcus, I wanted to say something fun, which we normally say, but I forgot. Well, yeah, Marcus Treacher. So during a CNBC event, um, Marcus called Facebook's coin Libra a walled garden. He says that the key problem with Libra is that it is essentially a closed system. However, he affirms that Libra is still a really good thing by a Silicon Valley's leading giant in a crypto blockchain space. Where he means this from is that, you know, it's actually really stupid. It's really bad. It's closed. I mean, there's not that much you know, openness to it, of course, because it's closed. But also on a side note, it is actually quite good because Facebook was not in an instance a, you know, uh, focused on blockchain or really trying to become a blockchain company you know it's just kind of a sidearm something they do like and do want to have and possibly change the world with but in essence they just want to have it and he means that they're still doing a pretty good job for for what they want sort of as the world garden enclosed by high walls for security purpose as a priority then horticultural this term was quite famous in the past used for the big tech companies like apple 
Facebook as these companies retain control over their softwares and apps. What this tries to say is like Apple and Facebook, for example, they really have everything to themselves, right? They have everything in control and that's what they like the most. That's what they want to have. Um, and again, Libra might also become another center, sort of a monopoly type of system like these coins are having or like these companies have had in the past. Facebook has done a very good job at it with having all the apps on itself uh, alone. Apple's done a very good job with, for example, the lightning ports and, you know, all their accessories having to be bought with, um, you know, only from, from out their stores. You can only repair it in their stores. Everything needs to come from within Apple. Ripple's investment arm intends to develop a DeFi product with new acquisition. Again, that's also pretty interesting because um, spring here, Ripple's investment arm is working their ass off. Like, it's been insane. And I'm just kind of looking here what is going on. Ripple's investment arm intends to develop DeFi product with new acquisition. Yeah. So what I wanted to say is like Ripple's spring, which is their investment arm, has really been putting up a lot of work. Like we've been talking about the acquisitions of Ripple or kind of the partnerships, uh, which was supposedly 200 in January, now 220, not being that amazing. But this, this is looking quite good. The platform acquired a payments platform logos network and intending to build decentralized finance products based on the XRP token. That's just amazing, right? Is that not just huge? Is that not just extraordinarily good? Like, I'm just trying to hear rephrase it for myself in the back of my head. Like, the platform acquired a payment platform logos network. I didn't know logos before, but okay. And intending to build a decentralized finance product based on XP token. Now, one thing you might ask yourself is like, what the frick do you mean with this? Well, let's see. Ripple is actively investing in emerging products to expand the ecosystem of XRP, the third largest cryptocurrency in the world. However, by the latest report of the blockchain startup Logos Network, they revealed that the firm has now been acquiring, acquired by Spring, and Logos is primarily a hyper-scalable payment platform which focuses on speed and scalability, and in fact, the white paper reveals that it is designed for 100,000 transactions per second. Now, of course, because of this deal, they will... Um, you know, be partnered up with Spring and so also with Ripple. And moreover, Ripple, with Logos team, seeks to work on DeFi application and the company's founder and CEO, Michael Zavitsky, will be spearheading Ripple's new DeFi product, or DeFi, I don't know how you would pronounce that, to be built following the acquisition of Logos team. He said that, as we look ahead to our new chapter at Ripple, we expect that our team will work on a variety of projects at all levels of the Spring platform with a particular focus on enabling a wide range of DeFi products. Now, it's still a little bit of a question for me exactly how XRP is going to be used in this sense, but I'm thinking this is just a beginning again for another whole sector that is now opened. And if Spring was not there, if XRP was not be been held by Ripple, we would never get this chance. We're still at a very early stage of figuring this out. We've made investments in DeFi companies in the past. We've invested in Securitize and Dharma, but it's now an area where we're building. So we're going to be seeing, guys, it is going to be interesting. Decentralized finance could be something very huge in the future. So, you know, uh, just a little bit to add. Ripple Spring acquires Logos Network in a bit to further its cause in building XP-based DeFi products. So that's, again, the, the main goal that they're having with all of this. And the price of this acquisition has been kept private. I think that's a very smart move from them because if it were to say, like, let's say, for example, $100 million or $5 million or $10 million or $150, whatever amount it is, even if it's 100000 people would always have comments. And whenever they can keep it private, you know, whenever it's not publicly traded, and I guess this is not publicly traded, they they should be keeping it private just for the sake of people going to complain about everything, right? People going to be saying like, oh, look how much Ripple just spent on this partnership. Look how much Ripple of our XRP spent on this or that or this or that. And... If they don't tell us the prices, which they might have overpaid for, a lot of people can't complain about that type of stuff. So yeah, I think it's a good idea. Cardano users able to earn ADA from November, says Hoskinson. Shelly will go live on the mainnet early next year. And following the successful launch of Shelly last week, the testnet, Cardano users will be able to earn ADA from November onwards as the network starts to add all the additional functionalities to the staking protocol ahead of a slated move to mainnet somewhere in the new year. I don't need to go into this further. I will make another video explaining everything about ADA that's been happening for a little while. But again, since I wanted to make a quick little update for all of y'all to just quickly watch and then go on with your day, I, sh I must add this, all right? It's just amazing and ADA is really making some progress. And last but not least, Binance helps UK police to stop $51 million in phishing fraud. This is also amazing, but I've told you guys before, Binance is putting in the work to make sure that all these scammers and all these, 
you know, not worthy in that sense of money people do not get to keep the money or use it. Binance claims to have assisted British prosecutors in an investigation of an online fraud that resulted in over $51 million losses by victims. On September 12th, Binance Chief Compliance Officer Samuel Lim published a blog post saying that the exchange was working with the Cybercrime Unit of the United Kingdom Metropolitan Police Service to investigate into Bulgarian fishing expert Svetoslav Donchev and, you know, these guys are getting them, right? Binance is putting in a lot of work to get all this money back because it just... They got the power. They're doing this all. But guys, that was it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Make sure you press the like button on this video right now. Make sure you go ahead and actually check out the link in the description below. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Take care, everybody, and have a very nice day.